Hello everybody and welcome back to Solaris. Uh, we're taking a look at the galaxy map right now because I realize we haven't been really aware of what's going on in the rest of the galaxy for a little while. We've been so busy with our little like local area. So I wanted to take a minute to see um, particularly how MSI is doing. It looks like even though they had an advanced start, they do not have um, they do not have a very large expanse with their borders. So um, that might actually kind of stymie their growth a little bit and help us uh, when we need to eventually take them on. How we are going to eventually be able to get over here and declare war on them, I don't know. They have an L gate here, um, but other than that, um, we'll need jump drives or something in order to get over there. Um, so if you recall, we were in the process of gearing up for war. Um, so. We have two raider factions that I think I'm going to hire to raid the Coalition and the Mythfell Order, respectively. And then I'm going to try, at least, try my best to declare a liberation war against the Sander and Authority. We're going to overthrow their government and install a brand new government that is friendly with us. We're going to see if we can succeed with this. So we have our MSI warship and a fortified space station up here in the north. Um, they'll need at least 23k in order to take this, so I think we are probably pretty safe there. Um, once we get some more, um, once we get some more alloys, we can, of course, make some more hangar platforms and artillery platforms. I don't think we need any more picket platforms to defend this system. Um, and I think we're in the process of also researching star fortresses so we'll be able to upgrade that in a uh, few months um, additionally uh, we have one fleet down here which is going to be our main fleet pushing the offensive into um, Sandarin territory and we have another fleet that's going to sit defensively defending Jorawar and Yubalan um, I might actually push up and do some quick like offensive strikes and then kind of retreating back just to take care of this fleet and to keep them busy um, it looks like they already are busy fighting a war with... Hmm... Lyritian Territorial Invasion. Who are these folks and do we like them? They're authoritarian and they're pacifist. Okay, we don't really agree. They've declared us their rival. Hmm... Okay. Well, um... Yeah, so I think we're ready to go. I don't think there's any reason to wait out on this war any longer. So let's see to our planets. Let's hire the, the raiders and let's let's start this episode off. I think we're still waiting on researching psionics for 32 months to take this tradition. Um, okay, so on Favaria, 18 housing, seven jobs. We are good for a long time. Seven housing, three jobs. Uh, it's potentially... I think we could potentially do with another generator district. And that will be this planet fully maxed out until we can uh, clear the blockers. Um, the blockers will allow us to build four more districts. Um, okay, our factory world. One housing, one job. We definitely need to build more here. Um, so I can upgrade this into a level 2, um, which is going to take an upkeep of what? Which is going to take an upkeep of 1.8 rare crystals. Do I have the 1.8 rare crystals to afford this? Barely. Um, I think for the time being, we actually have plenty of consumer goods, so I'm not going to be too concerned about doing that quickly. Um, it might be worth getting something else on this planet. Um, Ultan. Let's see, where is Ultan? I don't know. Um, yeah, you know what? We're just gonna, we're gonna keep ahead of the curve and we're just gonna build some more industrial districts. Always good to have. Um, it might be worth building the odd, like, research lab on on our planets, even those that aren't specialized in uh, research. Um, just having like one research lab, because um, it's always good to get, get, get more science. 
Speaking of science planets, we only have one available job here. Um, so I think we might go ahead and build some more research labs. Yep, this is giving us bonus society research. Fantastic. Our mining world needs more jobs. So let's build a mining district. And is there a mining building that we can build? I can't even remember. I don't normally build mining infrastructure on my worlds. Looks like not, or maybe we need to research it. So for the, not, for the time being, we're just gonna build a mining district and eventually we're gonna want hollow feeders here as well. Um, all right, our agri world. We only have plus 29 food, so we're probably gonna wanna build yet another agricultural district. Um, let's see, how is Level Core doing? Um, Level Core has three less housing than it needs and zero jobs. Um, what is the reason for this? I think it might have just recently been terraformed. So I think we're okay. We're building a monument. We're building a city district. After that, we're going to be able to build some more stuff here. Did we designate what we want this world to be yet? Um, it doesn't look like it's very good. going to be very good for agriculture, mining, energy. So maybe we make this another forge world, perhaps? Um, you know, uh, alloys are always good to have. Um, all right, Corim, our other forge world. Let's see, what can we build here? We need more jobs. More jobs, let's just get some more alloys. Okay, maybe three more industrial districts is a little over overkill. A factory world. Um, okay. And we're in the process of colonizing this relic world. Okay. Um, so we're going to hold off on this tradition. We're going to hire the raiders. We know of a good raiding target. They're already raiding, no time for this. Okay, at least these these folks are being kept busy by their other war. So, I probably, and these folks are also busy fighting that war. So actually, I think I'm pretty good. We have no rivals. I need to be a rival with somebody to order them to get raided. Okay, so let's declare a rivalry. And then let's hire these guys. We know of a good raiding target. The Mythfell Order. It's only going to cost us 3,000 bucks. Best 3,000 bucks I ever spent. All right. There we go. Okay, so. With that long-winded introduction. Let's go to the Sandoran Authority. Let's declare a liberation war. Impose ideology. We're going to declare we war. And let's move this down to Huawei. And in Huawei, we need to go to the army builder. And can I actually build more Titanic beasts? No, it looks like I have the maximum amount of them, which was three. So we're just going to build more Valdar assault armies. And we're going to link up those six new assault armies with our already existing assault army down there. And we're good to go. Let's unpause the game and let's push from Waltham into Mar Adetta. Yeah, the coalition is not going to be any threat to us. I think they're very busy fighting over here. This, the Mythfall Order, is, I think, is helping them out too in their war. So that's great, great news for us. All right. Mythfell ordered. The Mythfell order did not come to the sender and authorities' aid. So it looks like in this war, we're just facing the coalition and the sender and authority. Um, that changes things. That really changes things. Let's move our MSI warship up to here and let's see what we can do. See what damage we can do. Let's actually push into Panaxala. I think we can take it. 
we have 16k versus their space station, which is 4.7k. Yeah, let's do it. I want to push for a swift war. Hostile station engaged. All right, we made quick work of that space station. Quick work. Um, okay, so let's push into Jevons Maelstrom and then Chiblar, and then we can repair there. And then we're going to push down into Balesa. Okay, so Maelstrom and then Chiplar. Incoming transmission. Federation Association offer. These people want to invite us into their federation. Um, so, I don't think we necessarily want this. Right, we still are xenophobic. I know we're in the process of becoming more xenophilic, um, but until we actually start really having good relationships with like several other empires i don't think we're ready to be in a federation all right we can activate a new relic and i think the relic we're going to want to activate is the last bowl this is going to let us terraform yet another of our worlds into a gaia world um so let's go ahead and let's take this it's going to cost us 3000 unity which we can afford because we've been hoarding our unity and waiting to get psionics um, and our next world that we want to terraform into a Gaia world will probably be our home world. Okay, so we're taking the Maelstrom. The sender and authority is not even going to know what hit him. Hostile fleet engaged. Okay, now we're going to take Chiblar. This space station is also very weak. We're gonna take it without any trouble at all. How's the invasion of Panic Sala coming along? I don't even think we're gonna lose a single ship. Council agenda available. Hostile station engaged. Yep, we're not gonna lose a single ship. We're full up on resource storage. Let's see, just influence and minor artifacts. Nothing we can do about that. Um, we don't have anything to spend our influence and minor artifacts on. Um, we're gonna start equipping our ships with our Chaotech, but not for this war. Um, I wanted to get this war up and coming, up and going as quickly as possible. Um, okay, Panic Sala. Let's move into Toropia, Savasic. And then we'll do a little circle, and then we'll circle back to Panix a la Prima. Where? We can start bombarding their planet. We'll do a little loop. Meanwhile, we'll move our MSI warship. Just making sure these guys haven't declared war on us. Yes, they haven't. Um, we're gonna move our MSI warship into Panix a la to defend that system. This fleet needs to Most be set to repair. Engaged. At the station, we're keeping an eye on... How's our army builder going? Did we build those armies somewhere else? Why do we only have one army? I thought we built six others. Oh, I think they just went directly into this. Um, okay. Fantastic. Yeah, nine. I think we had nine and three. Now we have 15 and three. Okay, so let's move this down, and I think we can push into coalition territory, but I don't think we need to actually take their planet, seeing as the war isn't directed against them. So we're going to move our transport fleet down this ways. All right. We can upgrade our Lord High Admiral, who is currently commanding which fleet? He is in commander of... Does it say? Commanding the Riven Starfleet. 
This is our one pushing into the coalition territory. Okay. Um, he is our Lord High Admiral, so it might be worth giving him a counselor effect. Um, ship build speed, not that great. Governor traits, I'm not really using these guys as governors. Um, we can give him general, which is going to give damage versus star bases and orbital bombardment damage, which would be pretty good. Or we can just give him admiral. I think we're just going to give him admiral because that is, after all, what he is doing. He is an admiral for us. All right. Is this fleet fully repaired? I don't even know if this fleet got damaged at all. It doesn't even give us the option to repair to repair fleet. Okay, so let's move into these two systems and let's take this star station. We're targeting their star stations because that's where they can reinforce their fleet from. And that's also um, where we can repair our fleet. Okay, on our first stop with our army, is there a planet in this system? Spaceport under attack. No, but there is a planet in the Chibar system, so we're gonna move in there and take that planet from them. Okay. All right. The Mythfell Order is no longer a valid rival for our empire. Are we really that much more powerful than them? Oh yes. Okay. Our commander gains a trait following the recent sensor sweep of the. Ajara Min system. Okay, that's down here. Uh, commander Toki Dukara has learned how to deploy her units to maximize their sensor range. So she gains sublight speed plus 5%, ship hyperland detection range plus 2, and time spent missing in action minus 10%. That's fantastic. Alright. Station engaged. Molinox centralized commonalities has broken the non-aggression pact with us. Okay, that's fine. Hostile there are some engaged. ways away. Hostile station engaged. Okay, we're gonna move the um we're gonna move the warship over Panax Alla Prima to start bombarding. Hostile fleet engaged. Alright. Spaceport under attack. Fantastic. We're going to push to Balisea and then we're going to slow our advance. We're just going to sit here for a little bit. Because they have quite an army, uh, quite a navy built up there. But I think we can handle it. Okay, looks like they moved a fleet in to battle us. 5.7k versus our 10.4k. It would be beneficial for us if we could get this space station involved Spaceport in this battle, attack. but unfortunately I don't think we're within range to make that happen. I think we're gonna handle this. I think we're winning this already. Yeah, we're destroying their destroyers, their corvettes. Yeah, okay, we're gonna win this engagement. Alright. So, at the Balisea system... Okay, looks like they're pushing in. They're not giving us a chance to, to hold back. Okay. 4.5 and 4.5. I think we can win this engagement. I don't think it's going to be um, as easy to win as all of our others. But I think we can do it. Look at this utter chaos. It's impossible to tell. Who's doing what? Hostile station engaged. Of course, our ships are the ones with the blue lasers, not the red lasers. Research complete. All right, we've finished turning Favaria into a Gaia world. Fantastic. All right, looking great. We finished researching psionic theory, so we can move into... We don't need terraforming. Let's start getting some of these Archaeotech weapons. Let's get Ancient Cavitation Collapsers. Um, Envoys plus, plus 0.25. That's not that good, but Research Speed plus 5% is that good. Wormhole Travel would be great if we had wormholes, but we don't. So let's take this new numbers. Research Speed plus 5% is going to be great for us. 
Um, okay, so we finished building this world. First thing that we're going to build is gene clinics. Second thing we're going to build is a city district. After that, I think I'm going to build our faculty of archaeo studies. Okay, once our star base repairs enough, hopefully it'll be able to help us in this combat. Actually, I don't know if it is allowed to repair when it's engaged in combat. Okay, we've taken a couple of losses here. Not as many as they've taken. They're still attacking us. Huh? Okay. Spaceport under attack. It's quite alright. Okay, so we've moved our army into this system. Let's see what kind of defense armies do they have. Looks like they have no garrison armies at this colony. So let's just move our army directly in and land them. Um, it might be worth recruiting a general. So let's see who's good at general. Army effects. Army disengagement chance plus 10%. Army collateral damage minus 25%. That's pretty good. Army damage plus 10%. Okay, we're going to take the army damage plus 10%. Okay. And in addition, we are going to get... Yes. Butcher level 2. This is governor traits and we're not using this guy as a governor. Well, we might though. It's better than fleet organizer because we're not going to use this guy as an admiral. So let's just get enlisted. And yes, let's land our armies here. And let's take this colony and let's push down into Balasea afterwards. Hostile station engaged. All right. Planetary invasion begun. Okay, we have successfully invaded the planet. Fantastic. So let's move down to Balasea. And let's land our armies here. They have 393 um, army power defending this planet, which we can easily take. Um, an Obna raiding fleet has been detected approaching our borders. Interceptor communications indicate they have been hired by a rivaling foreign power to attack our systems. They are transmitting a message directed towards us on an open channel. You have many enemies, Dwamak. They do not like you very much. Even pay us to bash your systems. We are happy to oblige. All right. Um, that's these folks. Who paid you to raid us? Okay, they said it's secret. I don't actually see their ships on our border. That doesn't mean necessarily that they're not there. Okay, um, I think I'm going to, once we're done with this ship combat, I think I'm going to move this over back to Sismak to make sure they're not coming from there. That's probably the direction they're coming Hostile from. Fleet engaged. All right, looks like our current Commissary General is going to win the re-election. Okay. This fleet is going to finish off the transport fleet. I think we need to give it a repair order and a reinforce order. Okay, so it's going to go back and repair here, and then our reinforcements will be on our way, and then we're going to push into Moffith. Okay, the raiding fleet that the South Johnny sent into the Mythville Order after we encouraged them to do so has set a course back to their home system with the fleet's cargo holds full captured loot and slaves. The ship's masters have declared the raid successfully concluded. Alright, that shows the Mythville Order. Um, so yeah, let's take this recovered asset and let's move it back to Sismak. Just to make sure the raiders don't come from there. Hostile fleet engaged. 
Um, how is this fleet doing? Is it fully repaired yet? Let's just enter the orbit here. This is where we're going to be able to repair. And reinforcements are on its way. Okay, let's look at this planetary invasion. Okay, looks like we're doing a great job. Enemy planet secured. All right, we've taken another planet. Um, available leader traits are head of research, can get expertise, new worlds, can get cartographer, terraforming speed, can get inquisitor, research speed plus 1%, research alternatives plus one. Okay, let's take inquisitor. Speaking of, I think we finished psionic theory so we can get a new um, tradition tree in psionics. This is going to unlock the uh, the agenda, psionic supremacy. All right. Council agenda. Available. Mind over matter. Since the dawn of our civilization, tales have flourished of mighty sorcerers wielding power that can only be described as supernatural in nature. These rare Valdari could supposedly invade the minds of their fellows, lift heavy objects with merely a thought, or perform any number of magical feats. Until recently, these stories were just that, stories. Now, however, our scientists have finally obtained conclusive evidence that proves the psionic potential inherent in certain Valdar individuals. Although a very small minority in our species as a whole seems to be gifted with psionic powers, their numbers relative to the total population have grown steadily over just the last few centuries. Whether this is due to some kind of sudden evolutionary growth spurt or because something has triggered latent psionic abilities, that were always present in our genetic code, scientists cannot say. A glimpse, perhaps, of the future that awaits us. All right, and we can unlock building Psy Corps. We'll see what that does. And we can unlock base intel level plus 10, because we're going to be mind readers. Wow, that's pretty impressive. All right. How's this planet doing? Okay, it's taking devastation, so hopefully they will Hostile fleet surrender to us soon. All right, the Lyran Compact has become more pacifistic. Under attack. That is okay with us. This fleet has been fully repaired. We're not gonna upgrade it just yet. Reinforcements are on the way, so let's actually push forward into Moffith. And then maybe Debux. What is this power of the space station? 4.1k, we can take that on easily. Hostile fleet engaged. Here are the Sander and Void Raiders. Okay, these are the people that we asked Mining to attack lost. the um, Mythfell Order. And the current raiders are currently attacking our Infantry space station. station lost. This is not necessarily a, an encounter that we're going to win in Sysmok, so we need to get our MSI warship there as quickly as possible. Hostile fleet engaged. <laughs> All right. Military station lost. All right, looks like we lost the engagement in Sysmok and the Raiders are taking a toll on our system. Military engagement lost. Is that the only one? All right. Governing ethics shift in the Naran Fellowship. They have become more uh, militaristic. Where's the Naran Fellowship? You know, if they're nowhere near us, then we don't really care. Yeah. They're not anywhere near us. 
Um, looks like we can upgrade one of our commanders. We can give them the Admiral trait. This is um, controlling the Martano Star Fleet, which is down here. Okay, yep. Military station lost. All right, we finally lost Sismac. Yeah. Hostile military station engaged. lost. Where is all this information coming from? What military station have we lost? Because we haven't lost Sismac yet. Was it one of our defense platforms, maybe? It's impossible to say. We need our MSI warship to get there quicker. If it comes, it'll be just, just in the nick of time. All right. Let's look at our factory world. It looks like we can upgrade the planetary administration. Let's look at Forfion. Looks like we can go about building faculty of Archaeo studies. It requires planetary administration on this planet. That's fine. Then we're going to build an Autochthon monument. And we're going to start clearing some of these um, what do you call them? Blockers. Level core, a tech world. Um, has unemployment. Okay. So, why don't we build gene clinics? And then another city district, and then we'll build some more research labs. Okay, how are we doing a Moffith? Alright, looks like we have taken this. Let's take a look at this battle. Hostile fleet engaged. Death of a great leader. Our commander, Baron Victor Jaredin, has passed away at the age of 104 in service to our empire. The people clamor uh, for a memorial service to honor this leader's contribution to the Vafarian Republic. Okay, we will keep it traditional. Alright, a deep sorrow has gripped the public regarding the passing of Baron Victor Jaredin. Um, okay. This is our way. Okay, so that was our Commissary General. Who's posed to, poised to win this next election? It's like our Tribune of Rights. This is the person, of course, who is... Governing what? Tan Batorak. Let's look in our government. Tribune of Rights. Governing Favaria, okay. Okay. We're okay with that. So, our government is now down. One of our great commanders. One of our great admirals. All right, can we land our armies here? Is there a reason why we're not taking this? I thought we had already taken this planet. Oh, have we already taken one of these planets but not the other? Okay, so what's the... Okay, that has a garrison of zero. So let's go ahead and let's take this planet. We're going to take this planet, and then we're going to have to go and move and take the other planet. And hopefully we'll be able to achieve our war goals soon. They're almost at 100 war exhaustion, which is great for us. Alright. You know, this war was surprisingly easier than I had anticipated. This was what I was, um... This is what I was worried about playing this game. Okay, looks like our MSI warship has come in and is saving the day. Oh yeah, big time.
Yeah, I think we're gonna win this against the Raiders. Show those people they can't raid us. Yeah, we're gonna be just fine. Um, I was worried this game would get too easy because we've become more powerful than all of our neighbors and it looks like that ended up happening. Raiding fleet destroyed. Fantastic, great for us. Open council position, all right. We have a new commissary general. We need a new tribune of rights. Um, why don't we appoint this person? That's gonna give us shipbuild speed plus 5%. Okay, we need a new person to govern Favaria as well. So let's hire on a new governor. This person's going to give us stability plus two as a counselor. This person will give us stability plus two as a counselor. Militarist. Militarist. This person is psionic. Unity from jobs plus 10%, unity from jobs plus 5%. This is actually going to be our person. Yeah. All right. Fantastic. The Alliance of Hardshell Harbor has declared war on the Sandoran Authority. Can we enforce our demands yet? Not just yet. Planetary invasion? What's happening? Where's our transport fleet? Okay. So it looks like we need to give these folks... Looks like we already control this planet. Looks like we need to take them over here then. Is there an option to embark all? Yes. And then we can move them over here and land our armies here. We want to fully occupy this system. Where is their home system? Is it this? We have gained control Planetary over Panaxala Prima via orbital bombardment. Alright. Looks like we're... Yeah, we're definitely going to win this war very soon. Okay, we're moving into the Debic system. Then I think we can swing over to Hajim. Hostile fleet engaged. Okay. We've taken control of Panax Ala Prima, so let's move into the Zoidur system and just patrol that kind of choke point here. Okay, we're going to take this star system, this, um, yeah, we're going to take this star base out. In Moffith, we can go ahead and land our armies here. Looks like they have 393 garrison, so it's going to take us a little bit to, um, it's going to take us, it's going to cost us a few casualties. That's what I want to say. Let's start bombarding this planet, getting them ready for an invasion. So we can stop taking such high casualties with our invasions. Planetary invasion begun. Alright. Oh, looks like we've lost quite a few units there. We're not doing a great job at retreating our units. Enemy planet secured. All right. Yeah. We're down to three and seven. We really need to end this war. Minus 20. Okay. Um, let's see if we can recruit any more um, assault armies at Huawei. Okay. Meanwhile, we're going to keep this orbital bombardment up. This is going to make our invasion a lot easier. Okay, we encountered some folks in Hajim. We can assign one of our envoys to that. Where exactly is Hajim?
Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. Oh, here it is. Okay. Okay, looks like these guys are very ready for a planetary invasion. They have very little in the ways of defenses here. So we're gonna go ahead and give the order to land our armies. Um, we have unemployment on our planetary capital. Begun. I thought we had a bunch of extra jobs on Favaria. Hmm. Well, um, we can build a side corpse. So what's this gonna do? Stability plus five? Telepath jobs plus two telepaths produce unity, decrease crime, and provide a general productivity boost on the planet. All right. I'm down for that. Psycorps. This might be a new staple that we have to build on all our planets. Enemy planet secured. Okay. It looks like we didn't lose anyone there. So let's move into Asgard and Hajim. Looks like each planet we control gives us 5% more um, acceptance. Blocker cleared. Okay. I think this is actually engaged. I think this is actually going to be a good stopping point. Um, this war is starting to slow down and pace a little bit. Um, and we will go ahead and start the next episode by winning this war. It looks like the coalition is completely occupied by their other invaders. Meanwhile, the Sandoran Authority is facing war on two fronts. I think the Alliance of Hardshell Harbor has declared war on them as well. Um, so we're doing just fine in this war. Um, occupy a few more planets and we'll have the war we'll have the war under wrap. So thank you guys so much for watching and please stay tuned for the next episode where we continue to expand the influence and reach of the Favarian Republic. Mm -hmm.